We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. Sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, welcome to this Eucharistic celebration on the second Sunday of Ordinary Time. As we just completing the Christmas season, we are entering into the time to live the grace and mercy that we receive in the time of in a most important celebration like Christmas. God enters into human history. Now Jesus begins his ministry of proclamation of love and mercy, especially the ministry of healing, for which he doesn't want to do by himself, so he goes out calling people. And today you and I are called for this celebration. For our families, our individuals that we love are also called for this mission. But God had not wanted to do by Himself. You and I are called today. And so in order for us to respond to the call of Christ, let's acknowledge our sins and pray. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the 
Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. First reading, a reading from the first book of Samuel. Samuel was sleeping in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was. The Lord called to Samuel, who answered, Here I am. Samuel ran to Eli and said, Here I am. You called me. I did not call you, Eli said. Go back to sleep. So he went back to sleep. Again, the Lord called Samuel, who rose and went to Eli. Here I am, he said. You called me. But Eli answered me. I did not call you, my son. Go back to sleep. At that time, Samuel was not familiar with the Lord, because the Lord had not revealed anything to him as yet. The Lord called Samuel again for the third time. Getting up and going to Eli, he said, Here I am. You called me. Then Eli understood that the Lord was calling the youth. So he said to Samuel, Go to sleep, and if you are called, Reply. Speak, Lord. Your servant is listening. When Samuel went to sleep in his place, the Lord came and revealed his presence, calling out as before, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel answered, Speak, for your servant is listening. Samuel grew up and the Lord was with him, not permitting any word of his to be without effect. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. Mm -hmm. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. 
Brothers and sisters, the body is not for immorality, but for the Lord, and the Lord is for the body. God raised the Lord and will also raise us by his power. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? But whoever is joined to the Lord becomes one spirit with him. Avoid immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body. But the immoral person sins against his own body. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God, and that you are not your own? For you have been purchased at a price. Therefore glorify God in your body. The word of the Lord. From the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. John was standing with two of his disciples, and as he walked, Jesus walked by, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard what he said and followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them following him and said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which means teacher, where are you staying? They said to him, he said to him, come and you will see. So they went and saw where Jesus was staying, and they stayed with him that day. It was about four in the afternoon. Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, was one of the two who had heard John and followed Jesus. He first found him, his own brother, Simon, and told him, We have found the Messiah, which means Christ. Then he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, son of John. You will be called Cephas, which means Peter. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise you, Lord. Lord. I want to thank and welcome all of you to this Eucharistic celebration. So happy to see a lot of uh, new faces after a long time. I just want to let you know I'm happy to have you. We missed you. We continue to pray and join together in every moment of our life. And you have come to this celebration on a perfect Sunday because it talks about, I mean, the sun is out and it's so beautiful. We don't have to have the heater on and stuff like that. But perfect Sunday is said because it is about discipleship. Each one of us are disciples. Each one of us are missionaries. Each one of us are disciples of Christ. We all know that God called Abraham, our father in faith, Moses. We all know about Joshua, Aaron, patriarchs, prophets, kings were called, prepared for the coming of the Lord. According to the book of Hebrew, in the right time, God decides to send his, his own son, Jesus. And Jesus came. Now, he is beginning his ministry 
as he receives baptism john the baptist recognized him and he introduced him to the entire world behold the lamb of god the son of god the messiah whom we were waiting whom whom for whom we were waiting and longing for the coming of the son of god and he is here right 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 now so everyone is excited as the disciples of john the baptist heard it they followed him so jesus acknowledges their their following and he turns and said what are you looking for we have to pay attention because this is not a simple word this this is even even better if you say what are you searching for because in those days every zealot you know john the baptist you know very uh you know those group you know waiting and longing for the son of god and they wanted to crush all the enemies so that the kingdom of god will be established they've been longing and waiting and every member of the jewish community the people of israel have this longing this search in their heart that's why jesus turned and looked at the disciples who were trying to follow and he said what are you looking for what are you searching and immediately they knew what he is asking for they didn't even say anything else except they say where do you stay that means we want to follow you we want to be with you and jesus immediately said come and you will see as they followed they stayed with him that night and they went back home their life changed their life changed sisters and brothers in the new testament there are a lot of people who are called to proclaim the love of god mother mary was chosen saint joseph was chosen to witness to bring forth and to be part of this salvation history the shepherds were chosen magi were chosen and there are so many people who were chosen and today it is your turn and my turn to remind ourselves the calling the vocation that you and i receive through our baptism you and i are disciples of god god knew for sure he would not want to do on his own he wanted his followers he wanted members of the mystical body of christ to stand up and proclaim this god's love so jesus goes around calling people these two disciples who responded yes to the lord they went home and simon begins with his own brother you know what i found the messiah and he runs to meet the messiah as soon as jesus see you know simon son of john and he names him right away simon son of john you will no longer be simon son of john you will be kephas which means peter the rock said peter was chosen and he was all excited and so the mission continues there are a couple of things that we need to understand when we talk about discipleship because jesus chose disciples for a particular reason to be with him when the two disciples were with him they spent the night with him their life changed and they were ready to proclaim this love to everyone that they know starting for their own family members it's almost like when you go for places you know you went for this beautiful you know um the 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 uh, national park or maybe a restaurant whatever what do you tell your friends and family check it out it's a beautiful place it's a delicious food You know I also wanted to add it to you check it out St Bernadette it has become a beautiful place now they have a pavilion and you can safely securely celebrate mass so go ahead and proclaim the good news <laughs> This discipleship is about proclaiming but you cannot do that until you have a personal encounter it goes hand in hand We are baptized members of the mystical body of Christ but that not in that as we grow up we receive the sacraments that means we are getting to know the lord 
So once we get to know the Lord more deeper, then we have a responsibility to go and proclaim the love and mercy and the truth of God. And we have a duty to do that. How can we do that? And the scripture beautifully said, especially the calling of, you know, um, you know, Solomon, Samuel, the voice coming and he could not completely recognize. So he needed a help. We need to listen to the voice of God. Samuel thought maybe Eli is calling, but it was not him, the voice of God calling. Finally, he was able to guide him. Maybe the Lord is calling you. And so you say, speak Lord, thy servant is listening. In order for us to become a better missionary disciples, we need to listen to the voice of God. We need to listen to the prompting of the, the Spirit of God living in us every single day. We all have received calling as a mother, as a father, as a single, you know, as a teenager, as a grandma, as a grandpa, you, we all have a calling. And adding to that, you have another calling to be a job. Because you love your job, you're passionate about a job. You put your whole self into it. What are they? They are God-given talents and gifts that you have, that you're manifesting every day to bring forth the glory of God. So it is the place of evangelization. So your life. That's why, you know, our mission statement here in Bernadette, many hands, many hearts, one mission. Mission is not just about what we do, but who we are. Who we are is very important. Because sometimes when we focus on doing things, we're tired because I gave you do that, I did you this, I did you that, I did you that, but we're tired. We want not. But who we are is more important. Who we are is something that's special. That is, we are children of God. That's what we do. That's how we live because we believe in God. Especially in this time of crisis, brothers and sisters, it's even more you know, important for us to remind ourselves I know for sure, along with me, and many of us are praying for healing. Yeah, you know, ransom, you know, healing, immediate healing. We, we pray for rapid healing on this humanity, especially this pandemic to go away so that we can have our fun and stuff like that. Especially when our loved ones are ill, we pray for rapid healing. God does listen to our prayers, but that but doesn't mean that He has to act in the way that we want. He provides according to His richness to the time of need. Because we as human beings, we become result oriented. You know, for a period of time, we expect result. Once it does not happen, we kind of give up. We kind of give up. Faith does not work that way. A true disciple does not operate that way. Because we walk by faith, not by sight. Because we pray through the words of St. Paul, I can do everything through Him who strengthens me. That's what is discipleship all about. Because it's not about me. It's about Him who makes use of me to manifest His glory today and every day. That's why I said, being who you are, maybe your son, your daughter, your husband, your wife, or your, 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 your single and and you are you are a teacher, you're a professor, you are a catechist, and you are, you know, you work for you know frontline, you know, office and stuff like that. Anything for that matter. Make that as a moment of God's grace that God has put you into this place to proclaim His love. I remember a teacher was saying, you know what, a school district is going crazy. I cannot talk about Jesus or name of religion, you know, in the classroom for my children. And then she added to me another one. I was so sad for her. And then it, she added another statement that said, but you know, Father, nobody can tell me, nobody can tell me to stop sharing love. Nobody can tell me stop being kind. You see, love and kindness and being merciful are important manifestations of His disciple. I'm going to do that. By which I'm going to attract people to Christ. 
That is the core of being a disciple. That is the core of being a loving follower of Christ. That is the real search. That is the real thirst and longing that you and I have today and every day. We need to ask for that grace. Because discipleship is all about having the personal encounter of the Lord and continue to radiate that experience of, you know, the Lord with people. So becoming an, becoming a, be, being an agent of inspiration, being an agent of love and mercy and kindness every single day. I know this is challenging, but that's what we do as a disciple. Just imagine the people who were called by Peter. He wasn't perfect. St. Paul, he wasn't perfect. Remember, God does not call the qualified, but he qualifies the call. When you say yes to the Lord, he will make use of you in the way that we are. All that you have to do is listen to the voice of God and remain in God's presence. Be the voice, be the words, be the man, be the woman, be the person that God has called you. I know sometimes you're thinking, am I really a missionary disciple of Christ? Sometimes I'm weird, I'm crazy, I can't even understand myself. That's okay. That's how God made you. But you have to find your call in this moment over and beyond your comprehension. And surrender yourself to the hands of God and He will make use of you. Even the most sorrowful moment, He will make use of you to bring the greatest glory of God through you. And you're going to say, I didn't know how to do it, but I was just there. They're going to say, that was the most important thing that we needed. We needed somebody. We needed someone to say that. We needed to hear that. And God wants you to be that person who brings that healing, who brings the unity, who brings the serenity, who brings that happiness, who makes that possible for someone to go beyond the dark elements and see the glory of God radiating in and through them. So today I have a homework for you. Number one, thank God for the gift of your vocation in your family. What is it? I'm a mom. I'm a father. I'm a daughter. I'm a son. Give thanks to God for that. It's a calling. Maybe it's going to change. You're going to become a wife. You're going to become an husband. You're going to become somebody else. It is a gift. Give thanks to God. And what is your work? How do you perform your work? Are you happy? Are you passionate? Do you put your whole self in it? How do you make this of your workspace to give glory to God? Even without saying the name of Jesus, you could still witness to His love. Find out those two elements and give glory to God in this time. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please stand. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and the earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, where the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake He was crucified upon the spider, He suffered death and the spirit, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Sisters and brothers, 
mindful of the divine presence of God in this most difficult time. We lift our hearts in prayer to the loving God who knows our needs even before we ask. But as a loving missionary disciple, we pray for our community, for our country, and for the entire world. For all the members of Christ's body and church to continue to listen to God's insistent call to help the poor and the needy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For the leaders of this world, that they learn to listen for the voice of God as they carry out their earthly responsibilities to those whom they are duty-bound to serve, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For those who suffer from deafness, either spiritual or physical, that they may be healed so that they can truly hear God's message from them in this world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who have no voice particularly, for the unborn and the oppressed, may they find in the hearts of the faithful willing and obedient ears to listen and act on their behalf. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For love and peace in our country and our world. May the spark of life within each person be a glimpse of our divine light. We hope for racial harmony in our committed action and in your presence. May all people live in peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our St. Bernadette's community gathered here today, may we always have obedient heart, ears and hearts willing to carry out God's will. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the intentions of our St. Bernadette's community, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Loving God, we bless and thank you for this moment, for the opportunity that you have provided to us to be in a sacred space to offer worship and thanksgiving. We also pray for all those who join us through live stream. May their families, may their the intention that we hold in their hearts be granted. May the prayers that we are outspoken be granted unto us according to divine will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. goodness we have received this bread we offer you gift of the earth the work of human hands it will become for us the spiritual food Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Through the wine work of human hands, it will become for us the spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. While in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, 
but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. <laughs> Make holy, therefore, the gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving you thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Myron, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants whom you have called from this world to yourself. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with your Blessed Apostles, Saint Bernadette, our patron, us, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him I know him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
by the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching. We pray for strength and healing as the missionary disciple. Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said the apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that she should enter into the room, but that you say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. This time, Holy Communion will be given in the place where you are. If you can just turn to this way, so it will be easy for me to give you Communion. Stay in the place where you are. I'll meet you there. Oh, mm -hmm. 
by the Lord of snow and rain. I have borne my people's pain. I have wept for love of them. They turned away. I will break the hearts of stone. Give them hearts for love alone. I will speak my word to them. Whom shall I say? Here I am, Lord. Is it thy word? I have met you, God, in the Let us pray. <clears throat> Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the love of Christ to be merciful like the Heavenly Father. Thanks be to God. So exciting to see a lot of children and our families bringing to the church, and I'm so grateful, especially the newborn making all oh, big competition between me and uh, it's her or he. He. Wow, what a competition. I love it. Um, I just want to remind you the tax statement for 2020 will be sent to you, mailed to you this week. So look for it in the mail. And I would love for you to give a home to this little poinsettias, which has been used um, for our Christmas celebration. If you can do it, that would be greatly appreciated. Every Thursday, we have a Bible study, Great Adventure Bible study. It's online. Uh, we just did the introduction last week, and this would be the first week. It's not too late. Please join us through live stream, I mean, uh, through Zoom. Uh, for the uh, Bible study. It's a great way to learn and appreciate uh, scripture and be inspired as people of faith and uh, disciples. 
and I want to thank you for that. One last word, it's about um, vaccination. I know for sure your doctors might have called you or maybe you got a call from the county and because of the age group and stuff like that. And I'm praying for all of you, you know, to see the vaccination. I know for sure there are a lot of things, you know, here and there you hear, I don't know I'm gonna receive it or not, but I'm telling you, I got a lot of positive remarks from people who have received already. And I'm dying, I wanna receive as soon as possible. For me to be safe, I want to keep others safe as well. And so I have a model of responsibility to say this to you. So thank you for your being here. May God bless you. Let's do a final hymn. Heaven and earth draw 